Alright guys, welcome to today's episode. We'll be working on shooting far posts. A lot of times when players are shooting, they either shoot just randomly straight to the goalkeeper. Um, don't really have a general clue where the goalkeeper is. And maybe, you know, if you want, if you get your heads up, uh, you might be able to find the far post or the near post. But today we'll be working on shooting for that far post. Um, the first thing that we want to do is shoot with inside. Um, we're going to be shooting with our inside and just open our hips up. Not really facing, you know, not having our hips facing the goal, but have it, you know, face towards the corner flag instead. So I'll just guide you through it. Let's get going. So step one first, I'm gonna dribble towards the pole there, um, and then I'm gonna cut inside, open my hips up facing the corner flag, and with my inside, I'm just going to play it for a post and see if I can do it. Step one. So step one was driven towards the defender, engage, and then cut inside. Step two now is heading your hips facing the, the corner flag and just try and bend it in with it inside. The key thing here is again bending your knees, get lower, and almost use your momentum going forward. If you have that right momentum to go forward, even if your hips are facing the corner flag, that ball, because of your momentum, it's always going to um, curve in towards the goal. So don't be worried about your hips facing the wrong way. Um, your left side of the hip should be facing the, uh, should be direct, uh, should be pointed towards the goal, and your right hip to the other side of the goal. So my goal is there, and the other goal is over there in front of me. So my right hip is facing there left hip facing there, so that way my body, um, I'm facing basically the corner flag, okay? And use your inside, just kind of use your momentum going forward, and it'll always just curve in for a post, okay? Yes guys, so there it is, um, I like to think there is basically, well not basically, but in big picture, there's two ways to do this, first one is using that through pass and you sprint towards it and just right on the impact, you quickly just open up your hips and just place it with it inside, it's almost as if you're going to place it like a pass, but just really a good pace on it. Uh, that's just my personal favorite because uh, it helps you to generate more power behind the ball when you're shooting because the ball is already rolling forward and all you need to do is just have good technique good good mechanical shape uh, just quickly open up your uh, open up your hips and left shoulder is leading so if I'm here my left hip, my left hip is leading me towards the goal and I'm just here with my inside uh, but since my momentum is going forward and even if I'm facing towards the corner flag, that ball is always going to just whip in towards the far post. So that's my first one, personal favorite. Uh, second one is you dribbling, just cut inside and place it with your uh, right inside. Or maybe even left inside, depends on uh, what, you, what you prefer for this. Um, but that one is just in general, well in generally it's just a lot harder to generate more power behind your shooting. Uh, and it takes a lot more technique in my opinion because you're dribbling so you're spending more time on the ball just before the shot so you, you, you've kind of waste, well not waste, but you spent a lot of energy just to get into that process of shooting so it's a lot harder in my opinion 
for a lot of players that we used to do it, like Felipe Coutinho, uh, Jesse Lingard, he scored tons of, I mean these two players have scored tons of goals like this. Um, but there you go guys, just, uh, the key thing here is open up your hips, face almost towards the corner flag and just place it with the inside as if you're looking for that strong pass towards the far post, okay? Have fun, get to practice. If you like the video, please like uh, like the video, subscribe and leave comments. See you next time. Bye bye.